The device I'm about to show you has military grade encryption, bank level security, and is completely quantum resistant. Yeah, I am talking about my $10 Raspberry Pi Zero. See, AES-256 is incredibly secure. It's used all over the place in the industry for symmetric encryption. It's an open public standard and it can run on basically any computer. So don't fall for those VPN ads that make it sound like they've invented a new form of cryptography. They're using the same crypto libraries that the rest of us are using. AES-256 or Advanced Encryption Standard with a 256-bit key is excellent. It's wicked fast and it's the perfect algorithm to use for encrypting large amounts of data. Last I checked, MacBooks use AES to quickly encrypt and decrypt your hard drive when you log in and out. The 256 in AES-256 refers to the key size. A 256-bit key has more possible combinations than there are atoms in the known universe. So as long as you choose the key randomly and keep it a secret, you're going to be good to go. And using AES is pretty simple. Like other symmetric encryption algorithms, you have your data, which can be huge, like hard drive, and your 256-bit key. You also need to use a fresh, unique nonce or IV every time you encrypt using the same key. And that nonce prevents attacks that recognize patterns when the same key is used on different messages. Not doing that can be a big security concern. So you use the key, the data, and the nonce, and then run the algorithm and get back some encrypted data. To decrypt it, you just use the same key and nonce plus the encrypted data and get back the original message. Now, one thing, be sure to always use AES-256 in GCM or Glowis counter mode. It doesn't require block padding and it supports authenticated encryption, which means that we can tell when we decrypt whether the original data was tampered with and whether we were the ones who encrypted it in the first place. So AES-256 is really fast and really secure and it's really perfect if you're encrypting data for yourself using the same key, or if you and another party already share a key. Where it doesn't work very well is when you need to encrypt data between you and someone else, and you don't already share a key. That's what asymmetric or public-private key cryptography is for. For example, RSA or ECC. Mm -hmm.